So needless to say that Resolve eats up quite a bit of your computer resources. While recent versions have gotten more efficient, the performance is still dependent in a way on how powerful our machines are. We won't be getting into hardware requirements and recommended configurations, but rather see if the system we have right now can be decently used and enhanced as a workstation for color correction. While unfortunately there's a limit to what we can do with a slow machine when working with high resolution footage, we can look into ways to optimize Resolve for a smoother editing and color grading experience. First, let's talk about some key aspects that will definitely strain the processing power of your machines to its limits. First is resolution. Simply, more pixels means more processing to display and playback. In the age of resolution wars, where cameras are recording at higher and higher resolutions, it's inevitable that we'll run into playback issues when working with these high file sizes. Second is compression. When working with compressed clips like H.264 or H.265, there is an extra strain on the processor to decompress these files and play them back on your timeline. Some codecs are notoriously slow at playing back, like for instance the H.265. And finally, as color graders, the amount of image processing and effects used on our node structures will ultimately eat up quite a bit of resources. Perhaps the first thing to make sure is to have the performance mode set on automatic, since this will tune Resolve's processing to adapt to your current system configuration. This setting is on by default. The second most obvious one is that you don't have to edit and grade in the original source file resolution. You can easily work with a reduced resolution like for instance 1080p or even 720p which is enough to edit or color grade. Then once you are done with your grade and before delivery, switch the timeline resolution over to the original clip size from the project settings. This way, your media will be exported with the original resolution. You can also use a lower playback resolution by choosing half or quarter resolution. This will improve real-time non-cache playback at the expense of a dropped preview image resolution, which will not affect your exports because Resolve's timeline is resolution independent. This method has no connection with the previous timeline proxy mode even if it sounds related. It basically generates lower resolution versions of your footage linked to the original source media and it is popular for its portability due to the small project file sizes. This workflow lets us switch between the proxies and original source depending if you are actively color grading or you are ready to export. First, let's check the options we have for the generated proxy files. You can find that in the project settings under the Optimize Media and Render Cache section. We can choose the proxy media resolution, which, if we leave it on Choose Automatically, it will use the current timeline resolution. The proxy media format lets us choose the specific codecs based on the optimal bandwidth needed for our system. Furthermore, we can specify a location for the generated proxy files from the proxy generation location. To generate proxies, head over to the media pool and select the clips you want to generate proxies for, then right click and choose generate proxy media. You can check to see the status of your generated proxies by adding the proxy and proxy path column headers from the media pool list view. This will tell you the resolution and path of the generated proxy files. To include the proxies in your timeline, head over to the playback menu and choose use proxy media if available, which should be selected by default. To unlink the proxies, simply select the clips and choose Unlink Proxy Media from the contextual menu or simply deselect the Use Proxy Media if available from the playback menu. Proxies will remain on your hard drive, taking up space after a project is relinked to the original files. To delete the proxy media after a project was completed, you'll have to do this outside Resolve via your OS file system. If working with raw footage, you can improve performance by decreasing the decode quality in the raw camera section of the project settings. The only thing here is to remember to switch back to full resolution before you are ready to export your media. But if you are forgetful like myself, you can check the force debayer resolution to highest quality checkbox in the deliver page, which in turn will ensure that all raw clips will be rendered at full quality. Similar to generated proxies, you can also generate optimized media. The difference is that this method is suitable for a local workflow since it's not designed to be portable as is the case with the proxies that can be directly user accessed. 
As with the proxies, you can specify the media resolution and format according to your system needs from the project settings. The lower the resolution and higher the compression, the faster playback will be at the expense of image quality. To create optimized media, select the clips you want in the media pool and choose Generate Optimized Media. Then from the playback menu, enable Use Optimized Media if available, selected by default, to have the program use the lower resolution and bandwidth files you've created. And just like with the proxy files, you can delete the optimized media after your project is completed via your OS file system. The location is found in the top volume specified in the Media Storage tab of the System Preferences. Once we start adding processor-intensive effects to a node in the color page, like noise reduction or film grain, we will notice a slowdown in playback. To have a smooth playback after we've added our color grade, head over to the timeline, select the clip and choose Render Cache Color Output. You can also have clip caching set from the playback menu. Select Smart for letting Resolve automatically choose the processor-intensive clips, User to have manually select the clips you want and Off to disable render caching. In the color page, you can also select node caching in the node that have processor-intensive effects. Make sure to delete the render cache from time to time to free up space and in case you're noticing lag in your playback. These tips are by no means exhaustive, so use them in combination with hardware optimization like perhaps adding more memory or faster storage. But they will definitely give you a smoother color grading and playback experience or even mediocre systems. Do you have an optimization tip you might want to share? Leave it in a comment below. Well, I hope you found these Resolve optimization tips useful. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe if you're not yet Hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.